Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Tyler here. You join me again in my car and today we're actually in Stoke-on-Trent and we're off to meet a friend of mine, Ollie, and his partner Chanel. And I first met Ollie around about this time last year, about 12 months ago, and we stayed in contact through social media and I know they've just finished their most recent property development deal and it looks absolutely amazing the design looks incredible i'm super excited to see it so if you bear with me we'll be there in just a second and we'll see what they've got in store for us hey bro Hello, mate. how, how are, are you, you okay I'm good yeah good come to in, see come you in, i've just had a sneak peek of this place it's absolutely incredible the design is amazing so without further ado i'd love you guys to show us around Yes, definitely. Let's go. Okay, so we'll go into the kitchen. Um, so the property was two flats originally. Um, we bought it to two flats and we've converted it back into one semi-detached property. Yep. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. We took a wall out, so there's a WC here. We've, we've, we've changed absolutely everything in the property. New roof, new electrics, new boiler, yeah. new floor, new plaster, the whole job. Okay. The whole job, yeah. So how did you guys find this property? Um, extensive searches, didn't we? Uh, yeah. We had like three at first. Which yeah, we, a bit wrong. we had like three, so we just went and viewed the three, worked out like how much they were worth, okay, now yes. what they could be worth, mm -hmm. how much we were going to spend on them. And this one, smashed them all out of the water uh, with okay. the figures. Profit, this yeah. one was the most profitable by far. Yeah. Awesome. Of course. The WC in here. Okay. Um, I love, and um, we'll show you this on the camera, the black taps and the black showers the black, throughout yeah. the whole, whole bathroom. No chrome. Totally no chrome. unique. There's no chrome, no stainless steel, very little stainless steel. And yeah. really just makes it look, well, it just shows how much effort they've put into the design and for the end buyer as well, it just gives them the confidence that there's actually, this is a passion, a project of passion, not just, um, yeah, not just, not just, okay. not just about a profit margin. So. Yeah, awesome. Let's have a look Good. through here. Yeah, so this room has transformed quite a lot. So a the property been empty for five years, so squatters at some point had moved in. Um, but luckily when we bought it, they, they were no longer here really. Still super nice and bright as well with the windows. Yeah, yeah. the white yeah. windows. Um, even though, yeah, we're on the basement. In the basement, it's still quite bright, isn't it? Yeah. And then we've also got round here, the bathroom as well, where you see guys will see what I mean about the black showers, the black sinks. It just really gives it that whole unique look. This is where the kitchen was. Really, really Seems like an open floor. Yes. And then this is bedroom three. Three, yeah. Bedroom, bedroom three. Bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. And again, huge tall windows, lots of light. Yeah. And en suite in this one as well. So en suite in all three bedrooms. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we've got another stud wall in, walk in wardrobe, en suite. So there's yeah. no main bathroom, is there? No, you've got the WC Just the, Just the WC, WC yeah. and the, the um, en suite square room. So you've been really creative with yeah. moving walls around, yeah. stud walls in, making the most out of the space. Yeah. While still not compromising too much of the space. Like this bedroom is still, it's still a good size. Still yeah. a good yeah. size and you've still got the en suite. So. It was quite hard when we first bought it to decide what we wanted to do with it. Yeah. Did we want to keep it as two flats? Yeah. Did, we want to, did we want to put it back to how it is now? We were just weren't sure. Okay. But we think this has worked. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, let's head downstairs. We're going to talk through exactly like yeah. the process, how you found it, yeah, the numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. sounds good to me. Okay, guys, so I just thought it would be useful to sit down and really ask a few questions about what this process was like, you know, a bit about background about yourselves and plans for the future. So, starting obviously with the development. Yeah. Talk to me about the process of finding the deal, what you were looking for, how you managed to secure it. I know it almost went to auction, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, um, so we went to view three properties, I think it was, yeah. in a few, a few days. Um, we went to each property, we worked out what we could pay for it, and what we were gonna spend on it, and what we thought it could potentially be worth. Mm -hmm. And that gave us a profit, a, a profit yeah, a potential profit. And out of the three, 
This one. This one, definitely yeah. the best this one. one was definitely the best one, so we decided to, to go for this. Um, okay, and then in terms of what was it before when you bought it? Obviously, we've seen what you've done to it now. Yeah. And then obviously, what's all this work cost you? Because that's yeah. a big question. Yeah, um, so we, well, well, before that, we got, obviously, we, we put an offer in, didn't we? Okay. A low offer. Yeah. And uh, the vendor decided to take it to auction. I think we did, didn't we? I think we ended up with very low offer. <laughs> yeah, we got very low offer. So we decided to take it to auction, but we really didn't want it. Didn't want it to go to auction, did we? Yeah, so um, we've gone through a lot more work here. Gone to auction, yeah. So we decided to put another offer in, even though we, well, even though he was accepting offers. Um, but luckily, we put an offer in. It was attractive to him, and he accepted, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, you know that started the ball rolling, but we had to complete within like three or four weeks, I think, yeah. before well, the auction yeah. commenced. Because okay. if we didn't complete in time, yeah. the property would have gone to auction. We believe it would have gone um, for a lot more. We, we yeah. paid sixty-one thousand for the property, which we believe is no, we paid sixty-six. Sorry, sixty-six. <laughs> paid sixty-six. Sixty-six. Yeah. Spent sixty-one. Spent. Spent sixty-one thousand. Yeah. Okay. Because um, well, we got a main contractor in to do the work. Um, yeah. It was two flats originally, so we paid 66 for the two flats. Yeah. We've got a main contractor in to do the work. We've had a new roof, um, full damp roofing, new central heating mm -hmm. system, fully replastered, electrical mm -hmm. rewire, new windows, mm -hmm. new floor, the whole mm -hmm. the whole job really. Apart from the shop, you know, the brickwork. Yeah. Everything's been taken mm -hmm. back and then um, started from scratch. And any problems along the way? Obviously things like this <coughs> a lot can go wrong. Um, I think we just had the main issue is like with neighbours because okay. this house was originally one the large house was on the neighbours. So it's been split off mm -hmm. and they've got three quarters of the house and we've got a quarter. Okay. So drainage was an issue because mm -hmm. we weren't allowed to use our drains. So we had to then create our own drains. Mm -hmm. So that cost a lot of money, which was unexpected. Yeah, well, yeah. But we did have a contingency fee, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For Unexpected costs, um, but all in all, really, the development yes. coming for wrap the bang on about what, what, what we we're going to spend maybe a couple of thousand euros, which I think is okay. pretty good. So, all in, you've bought it for 66, yes, spent 66. 61, which is 127, um, yeah, plus I guess some other fees, yeah, because we've learned a lot of money through the work, so probably about 8,000 pounds, yeah, because we got a bridging loan, yeah, okay, once we bought the property to, to pay work. for the work. Yeah. Okay. And then in terms of what we're hoping to sell it for, it's now on the market. Ideally, what price are you looking to achieve? Um, it's on the market for offers over one nine five, but we're hoping to achieve. Um, sorry, offers over one ninety, but we're hoping to achieve one nine five. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. so it's like sixty sixty k profit. Yeah. So sixty thousand pounds profit. That's a lot. And you, you touched on it briefly a second there. In terms of that cost of doing the works and, and the loans etc you had to jump through hoops a little bit you've been yeah, super resourceful yeah yeah with doing it with being so young like bridging loans are not easy yeah but no. it's definitely able to do so so yeah we just said at the start of the year we were going to do a development and one way or another we were going to find a way to do it yeah um, that's what we're doing I'm sure there's a lot of young people watching now. You know, I'm 22, you're 22, Ollie, Chanel, 20, wow. 21. Probably watching this thinking like it's not even within their realm of possibility. Yeah. But the trouble is, if they have that belief system that it's not possible, they won't even try. They won't even yeah. try. But you guys made that conscious decision this is what we're going to do. It wasn't easy, but you found a way to do it. You've been super yeah. resourceful. And it's never yeah. been a question of not having the right resources, not having the right money. It's always been a question of right, how can we how get the money? Yeah. So most people probably sit watching thinking that we had all the money in the bank, but like that generally isn't the case, mm -hmm. is it? I feel so many times when we're like, we've got to pay the main contractor. Are we going to have enough money? Yeah. Let's just find the money. Like at one time, we had to like get 10k in one week. Yeah. And wow. we're just like, we're because, just going to have to Because we were so young, the, the bridging loan was so hard to achieve. So, I mean, we, we loaned money to purchase the property from the bank. We remortgaged our own house. We took out some personal loans. We already maxed out, but <laughs> that was yeah. the only way to do it. So, it, yeah. there was a way, some way. Yeah. And then, you know, we found a way. Well, it's not for everyone. It's not for everybody now. To be that much <laughs> But I suppose it's still. Yeah, Happy without days. without that, without taking a risk and you know, taking the debt, you know, there's good debt and there's bad debt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and taking on good debt has enabled us to do this this property and yeah. project and 
without that, we wouldn't, we wouldn't see the profit coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like that old saying: those who say they can and those who say they can't. And both, that way, yeah. yeah, both usually right. So yeah, yeah it's true that. Mm-hmm. Found a way, and you just knew that you were gonna make it happen one way or another. So yeah. that's obviously something we want to share with people back at home: is that if you want to do stuff like this, really, the only thing stopping you is the limiting beliefs you've got in your mind. But um, we'll link you our social medias below, yeah, so everyone yeah. can stay in touch with like future developments. What are the plans for the future? We want to build next, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, or if there's something think, like along these lines of this sort of house, I'd definitely go for this. We want to build projects which we get some passion from them. And we yeah. enjoy doing we've enjoyed doing this one, so yeah. If there's a if there's a, a renovation like this or something that we think we could put our touch to, we would do yeah. that. But otherwise we would like to, to build yeah, from, from the ground up. Okay guys, well thanks so much for watching this video. Ollie Shana, thanks so much for Thank inviting you. us over to Share and celebrate your success. Obviously, congratulations yeah, on this. It's you've done something you. really incredible. I can't wait to see the next one. And guys at home, if you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, do what you need to do. Check these guys out on social media, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys, I hope that video provided a ton of value. Make sure you go check out Ollie and Chanel on Instagram. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram as well. And if you want to learn how to get started investing in property or just learn more in general, I've put together a free training. The link is in the description below this video. That's got a ton of value inside as well. It's packed with content, so you'll learn loads there. And make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.